I'm not suppressing your video, sir. I'm, we, we can, like I said, once the communications officer is here, you're more... Are you on the board, ma'am? Are you on the board? I'm the candidate. Oh, okay. I got a question for you. Do no. you support Do you support restrictions on filming? Like sir. this guy is trying sir. to restrict sir. me from filming you right now? Sir. PorcupineRealEstate.com um. So, so one moment, one, one thing I'm going to do now is move around in this direction so that I'm not aiming at any civilians. Sure. Uh, so it's just that's fine. between that's, us. That's great. Because I, I know you don't want people filming yeah, civilians, yeah. and that's we, okay to, to some extent. But uh, the problem is these civic meetings where the power to require permission is the power to destroy, and I don't want to give you that power. So I understand that, but I also, also want to state while you are filming me, funnily enough, it does, uh, our board policy does state that you do not have the permission of also filming me at the moment. So at, the, at this point in time, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you some leeway because I'm talking to you in a professional manner, but I must ask that you, uh, at the moment, stop continuing to film me and we can discuss this further. And then so a library is trying to stop people from filming a government meeting. Do you see the irony in, in that? So I'm there's not... no meeting right now? Right. So that's, that's where... You're well, apparently, I mean, am I even going to last until the meeting starts? I want to go in there and film the meeting, and what, you're, you're going to interfere with me until I'm not even able to do that? No, so that's, the, that's where, if you want to film the meeting, that's something I can call communications, and we can arrange for that to happen, but you are in the library, not in the meeting itself. You're welcome so, to call communications if you wish. Okay, can you stop filming now? Because oh, I'm not. I'm not willing to do that. That's a, that's a First yeah. Amendment issue. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. that's a part of. The well, I don't. I mean, you're, you're, the policy does not trump the First Amendment. We can talk in there if you want. Um, I don't want to be. Yeah, I understand. Thank you very yeah. much. I really appreciate you sharing your concerns. Our communications officer will be here shortly. Okay. And I would greatly appreciate if you direct those questions for her. Thank you. Okay, and if you wish, I'm happy to discuss with you in there. Again, I'd yeah. be more than happy to discuss further, but you cannot be filming. At this moment in time, again, I have not given. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you have. I don't, under the law, I don't think you can stop me from filming. Uh, you could. I, I believe I can. Uh, but I, again, I'm just trying to be cordial with you while we okay. discuss this. So why don't we go over here so we're not disturbing any library patrons? You're, Does that sound good? At the moment, in, in time, you are disturbing me by filming me. Okay. So what's going to happen? I'm going to go somewhere that where that where we can hear each other without disturbing people who are trying to concentrate on their reading. Is that is that all right with you? That, sure, why not? Let's okay. do it. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So again, I'm just trying to indicate to you, per our code of conduct policy, upheld by the board, upheld by CSPD, they, they've recognized it, it's been approved by Colorado Springs, that without explicit permission, cannot be filming in the library. You can get permission from staff if they have given you as such, or patrons if you end up filming patrons. But at the moment, I believe no one has given you permission to film at this time. I don't have any objection to you giving me permission. Sure. That's fine. You're welcome to give me permission. That's fine, but I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not until we can obviously speak with the communications officer. And at that point, they'll be more than happy to work with you on this further, giving you permission to film the board meeting. But as it's not happening at the moment, again, you are now violating my rights. Your right to suppress video. I'm not suppressing your video, sir. I'm, we, we can, like I said, once the communications officer is here, you're more than Are you on the board, ma'am? Are you on the board? I'm the candidate. Oh, okay. I got a question for you. Do no, you support Do you support restrictions on oh, filming? Oh. Like sir, this guy is trying sir, to restrict sir. me from filming you right now? Sir, listen. <laughs> Again, it, I'm, I'm here. Here, please read this. Am I required to read so, things in order to ask questions? PPELD, uh, here we go. Uh, PPELD has an open door policy. Are you on the board? Are you on the board, sir? Sir. I have a question for you. Are you on the board? No, oh, okay, thanks. So, again, if you're going to continue to ignore me, then I'll have to call the police. And I don't want to do that today. It's been done. I'm just saying, I want to work with you on this. But if you force my hand like this, then I'll have to call the police. And I don't Can, want to do that today. I'm not going to stop you from reading if you want to continue reading. Uh, clearly, you don't care. You're not listening to me in this regard. So do you, do you truly care about what I'm saying right now? 
Uh, well, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have to listen to that in order to ask questions. The First Amendment doesn't apply only to people who listen to PPLD security guy reading things. That's, Does that make sense? That, that, that's fine and all. But again, I'm not going off of just my viewpoint. I'm going off of what the board has created in terms of policy. Are you in the board? So. Are you in the board? Okay, thanks. So, I'm just going by what they have said, which is you need permission in order Under to what law? What law would I be violating? You can just continue filming. We're, we're not going to wax semantics here. I'm going by just what I have on these papers that have been approved by the board. I'm just trying to do my job, okay? Who transacted the Live Free or Die State's first home sale for Bitcoin? Well, it was this guy, Mark Borden at PorcupineRealEstate.com. He and his experienced team of professional, responsible activists want to get you in the perfect New Hampshire home. Escape that authoritarian spit pit where you're living now. Visit PorcupineRealEstate.com.